Welcome to the Purim Show. I am here at Jean's The Right Plant Place in Purim, and my guest is Julie Schreier, and Julie is a co-owner of Jean's. Welcome to the Purim Show. Thank you. We have a full slate of things to talk about today, and I know one of them is, I mean, it, you still have absolutely gorgeous color here, and specializing in perennials. Is it too late to do things? Not at all. Uh, this time of year is, uh, well, obviously a little variable in terms of the weather. Sure. We're having a little hot flash right now or, or just previously, but uh, this time of year is beautiful. Once it starts to cool down a little bit, you have a little cooler nights, you can definitely plant into the fall and the plants will definitely come back. Awesome. And so um, you've got a few plants here, Julie, that yes. you're going to uh, tell us uh, uh, how to do that. And so let's do that quickly so that we don't run out of time to talk okay. about all the other sure. neat things going yes, on. Definitely. So why don't you identify this, uh, this first plant the, the here? This specimen here? Yes. This is an iris, okay. uh, German iris, bearded iris. And uh, this is what the plant looks like when it's out of the ground. Uh, we've already dug this one. And uh, if you have irises that are either not blooming or uh, have grown to a size that you don't really want them anymore. It's very easy to dig these up and you can actually split them and move them. Um, to split them, all you need to do is just pop off each individual rhizome here. And then this is a separate plant. Each okay. fan is separate. Uh, and you can pop them all off this central root, just like that. Wow. And I know. Yeah. And now you've got three plants, four plants if you include this little one, where in, before you had just the one. Uh, it's very important in the fall to actually cut back irises because uh, they do tend to get insect damage if so you don't. So when you cut them back, are you cutting them back like this? What That's you've exactly done here? what you do. Okay. Yes. You cut it back like this. And it's actually a little bit early to do this. You want to dig them and transplant them this time of year, but this can actually be done even after, the, after it's frozen. But um, you want to cut it at an angle so that the water runs off of them. This looks to me like you forgot to finish planting it. <laughs> Is that really how the depth should yes, be on those? Yes, they should be very, very oh, shallow. Oh my, I had no idea. Yes. I would have buried that sucker right up. To <laughs> and most people do because they want to protect it. Yes. So, um, so that will survive a That Minnesota will survive winter. just fine. Awesome. Yes, and will bloom, actually. Okay. So, yes. <laughs> That's even if you, a if better you, bonus. A little too much, they don't bloom. Okay. So, so yes. you want that depth. What exactly. about what have you got here? This is a peony, and okay. uh, peonies and irises, August is the perfect time to transplant. So if you want to move a peony, this is what it looks like out of the ground. And you can see here we've got um, a number of little buds that are coming up. And those are actually going to provide the new growth for next year. So uh, what you want to do is um, plant this so that those are right about at ground level. The buds? May the buds. Okay. Um, maybe up to a thumbs width underground. But again, if you plant these too deep, they're not going to bloom. So yeah, okay. Well, good to know. And now, are, pe are peonies kind of uh, um, stubborn? Not terribly. No. Okay. I've uh, always been kind of scared of them. No, so. they're they're really pretty easy if you don't get them too deep. That's oh, the most okay. common problem. Okay, I see problem. those buds now. Yeah. And, and you said that should be just the width of my thumb. Below under, ground. under the ground. Mm -hmm. Okay, you do so many things here um, for the community too. Great, great community support. Um, why don't you talk about some of the efforts that you're that you're currently involved in? We've got a couple different things going on right now. Uh, we are we've been involved in the Relay for Life ever since Jody and I took it over, and uh, we're selling ice cream to raise money for that, and we're selling bulbs for the fall. We're going to have tulips and daffodils coming in in September. So watch for that. And then uh, we're also launching a new fundraiser for Wadena after the tornado. I we're, love this. That's we're doing, what a great we're raising effort. money for trees for Wadena. So uh, we're hoping this can be kind of a community to community effort. So we'll be talking with the civic organizations. So if I have, uh, if I wanted to, um, you know, donate money, you would rather have me bring money to Jean's the Right yes. Plant Place than, uh, you know, baby elm tree or something, yes, right? Yes, exactly. Okay, okay. and then yeah. you'll get as much as you can and then buy and, and, oh, you guys are doing such a great deal, great job here at Jean's the Right Plant Place. Why don't, before we run out of time, you tell us your phone number. Okay, it's 218-346-4051. Uh, 
Very good. Thanks so much, Julie, for being Thank with you. us on the Perm Show. And don't go away because we're going to come back and we're going to talk about the statewide health improvement program.